In this video, I will explain how I simulated the lens flare optical effect. The three aspects of lens flare rendering are 1. Changing its visibility based on viewing angle, 2. Changing its visibility based on whether it is occluded, and 3. Making sure it faces the viewer. To ensure the lens flare always faces the viewer, we measure the angle between the camera and the model, then adjust the model so that it always faces the camera. To change the model's transparency based on viewing angle in a 2.5D game such as mine, you only must measure its distance from the camera. We then set the opacity of the model based on that distance. The attenuation is proportional to the square of the distance. For occlusion rendering, we cannot enable depth testing because it will cause the model to intersect with other geometry as so. What we need is a method for determining whether the object that is causing the effect is visible. A way to approximate this is by using a ray test from the object to the camera. If the ray intersects any geometry between the object and camera, we fade out the effect until it is invisible. If it is visible and the ray is not intersecting any geometry, we fade it back in. It should fade out faster than it fades in. In the OpenGL client, we send an alpha value, which is the product of the two visibility functions, to a simple GLSL shader. We now have all aspects working.